Here in this hallway hangs the pictures of graduates at Dr. E.P. Scarlet High School over the past decade, some of them autistic. It's this group of young people that's led this Southwest Calgary High School to open its doors to show not only the province but the world what they're helping to do to transition them into adulthood. It's not every day a high school student gets a chance for a sit-down with Alberta's education minister. But it's also nervous. I have to be on my absolute best behavior to give the best impression of the school possible. Jackson is one of a few students participating in the Worktopia project, a program that works to improve the employment futures of autistic youth. They get hands-on experience in this room and out in the community while learning the skills they'll need for independence. Yes, we do get a lot of support. Or especially for someone with like ADHD like me, they're always willing to lend you a hand. Oh, it's great, yeah. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I like coming to the classroom anyway, and then uh, I can just see, uh, talking to Jackson, for example, um, that he has uh, gained skills and developed strategies for communication and, uh, like you say, confidence. Megan learned she was autistic at the age of 14. She says this has given her a greater appreciation of what her parents do in their daily lives. After three hours of work every weekday, I was pretty tired and I can only imagine how my mom felt feels after seven hours to eight hours of work. There are so many um, kids don't have a great transition between um, youth and adulthood when it comes to programs available, so this was absolutely wonderful for her. The room there provided at Scarlet is called Sokinapi, which means to make well, and educators here say it's been a great success. It connects the dots for them. Why am I learning and preparing, or learning this content, and what is it leading to? It's huge, because if you talk to autistic people, they don't want to be autistic people. They want to be autistic people, but themselves in a normal world, and participating the same way that everybody else does. There are programs like this helping roughly 200 kids across the board. After seeing Scarlett's room here, Minister Egan says he certainly wouldn't mind seeing rooms like this one expand across the province. In Calgary at Dr. E.P. Scarlett High School, Ian Campbell, City News.